spend time with Brent. He's highly entertaining and quite a character, so it's always good. But we tried to reposition a little bit, but as you can see, the rain is coming down in sheets now. And so if we turn in any way other than what we are now, the rain just blows in to the vehicle and makes it almost impossible to carry on filming. So rather than heading home, we've positioned ourselves a little bit differently and we now have protection from the back end with the roof. And so we can sit here quite happily and we are nice and dry. So rather than go home, I think this is a good compromise. I know we've got a bush in the way, but at least it's uh, better than having no lines at all. So you can see how drenched the cubs are. They are absolutely soaked. It's bucketing down now and one of the females I think decided enough is enough she went under a thicket um, but the little cubs have decided they're too hungry to go anyway so they're staying you can see look how miserable they look they kind of popped up their head and look at that face that face is very unimpressed with life that's a lion that is wondering why is it raining on my parade <laughs> that's amazing the way he just popped up his head, or she, I can't see from here which one it is, but the way they popped up their head and just kind of looked around is just to say, really, is it going to rain on me while I'm having my breakfast? The other cubs are not too perturbed. they just tucking in as though nothing's going on. Now, the nice thing about this rain is it means that their meat is going to stay nice and fresh. You're going to find that they're going to be able to eat this and it's not going to go off at all. It's almost like being in a fridge. So it's going to be very, very pleasant for them. You can see that cub is now just opening up that leg. It's trying to get to all those choice little cuts of rump that are inside there. And so it's just coming through the carcass now. And so I'm sure some of you might have heard this myth that waterbuck, because they smell very bad, do not get eaten. And there you can see right that that is a complete fallacy. Waterbuck are eaten by everything. I've seen every single predator out here feed off a waterbuck. So just because us as humans, we don't really like the taste of waterbuck and the oil that secretes out of the sebaceous glands does taint the meat somewhat, means that we don't feed off it very much. But the predators love it. They eat it all the time. I've seen them actively hunting waterbuck over other animals as well. So it's a really big bulky antelope and is perfect for um, a pride of lions. If there's not too many buffalo around, then things like waterbuck and kudu are going to sustain this pride really well. But you can see they one by one are retreating off the carcass. They're making their way into a little thicket and trying to get out of this sheets and rain and wind that is coming down. Safari Dean, I completely agree. Lion cubs in the rain is thoroughly amusing. It's they, the sadness on their face and that look of bewilderment as to why it's raining on them is quite entertaining. The only thing that I think looks more depressed with life in rain like this is generally male lions, big male lions. Their mane flaps over their head and it kind of gets pasted to their forehead and they just look thoroughly unimpressed with this. So the only thing better in rain is big male lions, but these cubs are quite entertaining. You can see how much water is being thrown about when they shake their bodies. So Phantom Fox, um, Flies and vultures, will they hang around in this rain and pester these lions? In all likelihood, no. It's raining far too hard for the vultures to even fly in this, so they are not going to be anywhere near here until this all calms down. Once it dries out a little bit, then yes, the vultures will come in. But for now, there's going to be no vultures. I mean, you can see how hard it's coming down. I'm sure you can hear it. It is raining the proverbial cats and dogs and so vultures really wouldn't be able to fly in this. The flies when the, the rain wasn't falling too hard there were a few flies around but now even for them it's going to be too hard. You'll find the flies are going to try and find a branch somewhere and hold on for dear life um, and try and avoid being washed away in this heavy rain. So for the lions other than the water falling on them 
it's actually quite pleasant. They don't have to worry about any of the others. Um, and you'll find even hyenas in rain like this are not going to be actively looking for any sort of food item. They're also going to be sheltering and trying to stay out of it. You can see the females are trying to find thickets to try to get out of this heavy downpour. And in doing so, they'll be teaching the cubs what to do. You can see a little cub is now going in there as well. And I think that little cub has just stolen its mother's place. So it's decided, well, you can lead me to it, but I'm going to take the best spot. And it's wormed its way right into the thickest part of that bush, as little cubs can do. Look at that look. Isn't that a look of unhappiness? <laughs> Amazing. I really, really like this in Kuhuma Pride. They are absolutely beautiful lines. They're huge um, and are always in good condition. But look at that. That is as deep into a bush as you could possibly get yourself. She's kind of tucked her head in right under that and is all likelihood not getting rained on nearly as much as if she was out in the open. So for her, she's very happy. And you can see they're actually facing away, so they've all got their backs to the rain at the moment. The rain is coming from our eastern side and they're all facing west now. And so that means that they don't have to get rain falling in their eyes. Unfortunately for them, they don't have a lovely roof like we do. And I'm quite glad they haven't decided to come join us here, because that would be quite something. And there are the gluttonous ones. So those are the ones that are still too hungry to get out of the rain. So the lack of vultures is also the reason why it's still lying right out in the open. Had this been a very sunny, hot morning, you would have found that the lions would have tried to have dragged it under a tree somewhere to try to get it out of the way. And one is out of the sun and the other is to try to get it out of the way of the vultures so that they can't see it. But luckily for us, it's raining so they've just left it right out in the open. 